Well, today I'm proud to stand before you with my family and announce my candidacy to be the next governor of the state of Utah. I enter this race to be governor of a state rich in human and natural resources, and also with a history of strong values. Our values are embedded in our people, our traditions, and the land we live on. I want to become governor to preserve and further those values. I am also entering this race to be an independent voice for the citizens of Utah, an independent voice that puts people and principles above party and politics. An independent voice for reasonable and responsible government. Utah is my home. Utah is where I started a business. Utah is where my wife Amy and I choose to live and choose to raise our family because the values of this state are our values. We cho choose Utah as our home because of Utah's pioneering spirit and sense of community, where people work hard and work together. Because in Utah, family is important, education is critical, and we help those in need and treat everyone with respect and dignity. We choose Utah because of Utah's amazing landscape, like hiking under the spires of Bryce Canyon with my family, fishing with my son James at Silver, Silver Lake. I knew I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> Watching my son Peter balance on the red rocks around Delicate Arch, spotting a moose in the wildflowers with my daughter Sophie in the Wasatch Mountains. These are the values that bring people to Utah. They are the values that keep us all here in Utah. And while these are wonderful qualities, they can be overshadowed by urgent challenges that Utahns face every day. We've seen friends and family members lose their jobs. Businesses have closed. Utah has the fifth highest bankruptcy rate in the nation. Our teachers continue to be asked to do more with less. Class sizes are growing. College tuition rates are skyrocketing. Our high school graduation rates are plummeting. The air quality in some of our most beautiful and vibrant cities, like Salt Lake City, Ogden, Provo, and Logan, is amongst the most unhealthy in the nation. Neighboring states are angling for our precious water, and foreign waste is coming to our state. But I believe things can be different. I believe that Utah's best days are ahead of us. I am running to be governor to restore the values of our great state so that we can get back to the basics on which this state was founded. Small, honest, and effective government. There is great potential for Utah to lead our nation in economic growth, better schools, and in the renewable energy economy. As governor, my initial priorities will be job-focused. More jobs, better jobs. What does this mean for us? It means that you and others like these students here at Salt Lake Community College can stay in Utah and provide a good life for your families. Some of our leaders talk about creating fertile fields for economic development. They argue that low ta taxes and free markets alone will attract a new generation of entrepreneurs and business leaders. Low taxes and free markets are important, but they themselves are not, are not enough. When we also provide better educational opportunities for our children, when we also protect our air and water quality, when we also grow our renew renewable energy economy, then will we lead the West in job creation. Peter, Peter, Peter. 
Approximately 70% of our economy is driven by our locally owned businesses, but they have often been neglected. Many times over, incentives have been provided to bring new companies to Utah to the detriment of established Utah companies. Economic development is not about giving money to big corporations to move to Utah. It's about prioritizing homegrown businesses that are working every day to create jobs with good wages. My focus will be on helping Utah businesses succeed. Our success is also dependent on a strong energy economy. I believe that Utah should dedicate itself to being energy independent by the end of this decade. While our federal government talks about it, Utah can achieve it. We can and should become self-sustaining like the pioneers before us. When we turn on the lights in our ho homes or turn the keys in our cars, the energy should come from our own state and generated by our own workers. In Utah, we have an abundance of energy sources. We have coal, petroleum, and natural gas, and we have wind, geothermal, biomass, and abundant solar power. I will make state, I will make state government a partner in supporting job creation in our traditional energy sector, and I will support creating thousands of new jobs in the renewable energy economy. We have seen new jobs created in places like Millard County, which recently opened Utah's largest wind farm. And the future leaders of this new energy economy are being trained right here at Salt Lake Community College. My administration will help Utah be a leader in the renewable energy economy. I also know that for a better economy, a better future, and a better state, we need to make sure our young people entering the workforce have the skills necessary to succeed. For decades, our elected officials have claimed that education is their number one priority. But over the last few years, hundreds of millions of dollars have been taken out of our education system while enrollment has increased by 25 percent. Class sizes are increasing and Utah students are falling behind. If this has been priority number one, I'd hate to see the results of priorities number two and three. Every child can learn and every child is worth the investment. As I take on the challenges of our economy, our Utah, and our energy future, I ask all Utahns to join me. We will only seed in the, succeed in the way that Utahns have always succeeded, working together, working hard, and by our own ingenuity. And that's how we'll win this campaign, working hard together to get Utah back to basics while maintaining our Utah values and moving forward. It's about valuing Utah and valuing Utahns. I respectfully ask, therefore, the opportunity and the chance to be the next governor of the state of Utah. Thank you very much.